So when you open Scratch Junior, you may have to click on the home. And then you'll get to all of your projects. If you have any previous projects, they'll be here. Click on the plus to create a new project. And what I'm going to do is change this white background to a new background. So you'll click on the background option. I'm going to change it to underwater. And I'm also going to change my scratch character to something different. So I'm going to hit the plus on the left hand side here. And I'm going to choose a fish since it's underwater. I'm going to move my fish down to the bottom left. And then I'm going to get rid of the cat. So to get rid of the cat, you can just hold down your left click and delete. If you're on the iPad, you would just hold down, press down with your finger and the option to delete should come up. So we're going to code this in a pattern. It's going to be a simple A, B, A pattern, and we're going to use the repeat rather than repeating any blocks. So you'll click on the yellow block on the left-hand side here, and you'll click on the green flag so that what will happen is when we click on this green flag at the top, the program will start. We'll click on the blue arrows to move our fish, and I'm going to start by moving the fish three steps forward. So you'll notice when you click on this number area, the keypad comes up for the numbers and you just click on what number you'd like to enter there and I enter the three. I'm then going to have my fish rotate. So turn to the right and it's actually rotating. And the way it works in Scratch Junior is 12 rotates a full circle. So you can think of it like a clock. And I'm going to then repeat this and you can see under the orange blocks, you'll find the repeat block. So if you click on it and hold it down, you'll see which block is what. It describes it for you. So we'll put that at the beginning and the two blue blocks will go inside. So we can now test run our program by clicking on the green flag. So it goes a little, rotates, goes a little, rotates, and so on. You'll notice when it gets to the end of the screen, it would start over from the beginning again and the students can change the number of repeats as well. If you want to move the fish back to the beginning, you can just click on this blue circle with a little arrow in it, and it will reset the program, and then you can run it again. You then might have students uh, look at each other's code and try to create each other's code, or try to add to the code to do a different pattern partway through. And they can also do more complicated patterns like ABC and then play around with some of the other features as well.